Here we go. Violent at the point. Violent at the point. Good, good. Drive. Force through the ground. Force through the ground. There it is. Start smoothing it out now. Start smoothing it out. There you go. Real smooth. Nice glide. Nice glide. Nice glide. Nice glide. Nice glide. Done. You ready? Let's see what you got. Here we go. That's why I wake up every day right now is chasing my dream. I'm never going to stop. Work. There it is. I have the drive. I have the work ethic. You ain't going to beat me. This is my calling. I'm the best in the world at this. This is the O-line performance. It's the only true brick and mortar facility in the world designated solely to the development of offensive line athletes. Everything we do here is rooted in biomechanics, rooted in physics. This isn't just about offensive line play as much as it is about human performance. Well, if you have a great offensive line, you ain't got a team. So if you can't develop those players, the odds of you having a successful team, slim to none. In Chandler, Arizona, two-time pro bowler LaCharles Bentley trains the would-be cornerstones of every NFL franchise, offensive linemen. And for the aspiring NFL prospects, Ohio State's Pat Elfline and Michigan's Kyle Kalis, being drafted is a life-changing, career-defining goal. My dream is at stake. Getting drafted is not a guarantee. Ever since I put on a helmet, second, third grade, watching the NFL games on the TV, I knew that was what I wanted to do. Nice, Kyle. Good work. Being drafted would just be a dream come true. The goal is to show them I am one of the top five guards in the class. Here's a funny story. So I was committed to Ohio State. And I was trying to get an offer from Ohio State. Growing up in Ohio, it's Ohio State's everything. I committed mainly for Coach Trussell, I love the guy. And then the whole entire situation went down. He left, I decommitted. And so a few months later, I committed to Michigan. And I ended up getting an offer from Ohio State after that, so it kind of helped me get there. <laughs> you know, growing up, not being from Ohio, but then going to high school in Ohio, I think everyone kind of just assumed, you know, Ohio kid, how could you betray Ohio State? How could you do it to us? Uh, did you ever thank Kyle from decommitting from Ohio State? Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, Patty. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> Kyle Kalis and Pat Elfline were on opposing sides of a heated college rivalry, but in Scottsdale, they share common goals, a common training regimen, and an apartment. You want uh, five or six? Six, because it's Friday? Yeah, it's true. It is Friday. It is explosion day. Yeah. You get any eggshells in there, or you, you pretty clean today? Dude, clean, not even I one. I see you, you haven't even fished for one. any of them. Not even That's one. a good day right there. It was pretty much just like an instant connection between two like-minded guys, two guys that love the trenches, love offensive line. We train hard together, we compete in here, which makes us better. I consider him one of my best friends. We got some cream cheese, more cream cheese, mild cheddar and Monterey Jack, pizza mix, pepper jack. Pepper jack is Pat's favorite cheese, by the way. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of linemen. Yeah. Part of the Red Sea now. Part of the Red Sea. Don't cut me short either. Hey, when do I ever? Literally every single day, you know, whether we're playing guitar, whether we're cooking our eggs and baking in the morning, drinking our coffee, like we're laughing all day long. <laughs> At this point in their lives, it's not about a rivalry, it's brotherhood. And to see these two athletes work together and be able to say, you know, yeah, you lost to me five times, and yeah, I beat you five times, and, but it's not about that anymore. It's about moving on to the next phase of their lives. Kind of fall into it, and the truck start rolling, fall to the ground, short, <clears throat> choppy, drive. Oh, it's a neutral. Oh, it's a neutral. You're getting yum. I'm going. Oh, uh, well, I did it. I did it. There it is. Now their roads diverge. Five years after good fortune landed him at Ohio State, Pat Elfline turns his attention to the NFL Combine. It'll be 
My first real test postseason to showcase what I've got. It's gonna be very important for me to reassure them that what they see on film is what, what they're gonna get. While the highly touted prep prospect Kyle Kalis must fight his way back onto the NFL radar. You know, for whatever reason, they, they, they didn't select me. And you know, of course it puts a chip on your shoulder. It makes you wanna work that much harder again. In my mind, I'm, I'm the top five guard in, in this class. And the goal every day is to be better than every other guard in the class. I've been training hard out here in Arizona. I've given everything I've got, prepping up for the combine, and I'm ready to fly to Indianapolis and showcase my skills. <laughs>